Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Cyrus and Phoebe and today we will talk about Domino but before talking about Domino, is Deadpool in the game? Yes, I mean, he's favorite of a ton of people and finally he is in the game. People were disappointed including me when he was not introduced to the game when the movie was released but okay, it's fine. It's late, but Deadpool is Deadpool, we can wait for him, and finally he is in the game with his tier 3, and I hope he replaces Bucky in ABX, because, okay, Deadpool, I mean, he should be a meta, right? So we will see how good is Deadpool, and a shout out to SH Hybrid for the previous video, because he commented, he was the first one to comment on the video, so shout out to you, mate, and yeah, back to Deadpool. I really want him to be the new meta because he is a native tier 2 character who got and he's the first native tier 2 character in the game who has his tier 3 passive in the game so I want him to be really good at it, a good damage and if you look at the skill preview you will see he is having a good amount of hits but yeah I don't have Deadpool, I mean he is just at 1 star so I need to wait till the time he is at tier 3 so we will try to get him or rank him fast as fast as we can so that you guys can know how good is Deadpool so wait for that I think it will take us 2-3 to three days but I'm not sure so let's see what we can get so today we will talk about Domino I mean look at her she is good the X-Men logo on her looks really cool and okay Okay, I need to get into her, not into her, into the preview scale. screen, yeah. So if you look at her, this character is really amazing in terms of look. I mean, the details on her are really good, impressive. I must say, Netmarvel this time did a tremendous job. If you look at Deadpool as well, he is built really fine. All the details on him, amazing. So by look wise, if you see her, she is a babe. I know many of you are into the other character who are more beautiful but i love this girl she is cute i mean yeah she's cute so without wasting any more time we will discuss about her in the game i mean how good she might be in the game so we will have a shadowland run at tier one we will have a world boss run ultimate definitely at tier 2 because at tier 1 the character does not deal an insane amount of damage and at tier 2 the damage output is relatively higher and then we'll have an ABX run at tier 1 and tier 2 so that you guys can know the difference and she might be a good character at ABX because now with the introduction of new days like speed, hero and female character and so she might be a good character for that day and I'm expecting for speed day the frost beast would be having the evade effect, the dodge effect so her leadership might be really useful there as well. So let's talk about what we are getting with this girl. First with the leadership it is a ignore targets dodge rate by 45% leadership along with that a critical rate increase by 8% so uh, if you look at bullseye's leadership the bullseye is not a good tune he is okay his leadership was used in various game mode like shadowland because there were stages where you need to have more ignore dodge to kill the character like in term like the stage of rocket raccoon he is having a high dodge rate so that guy's leadership was really amazing there now that this one is the improved leadership of bullseye you are getting almost the same bullseye will give you 50% ignore targets dodge rate she is giving you 45% which is okay 5% is not that you know 5% loss is not that great along with that you are getting critical rate increase by 8% so definitely for speed day if the beast is using evade a leadership would be a good asset to you and you can just have the extra tinge of damage because of the critical rate increase by 8% and her leadership is in synergy with her tier 2 skill if you look at her tier 2 skill it will give you guaranteed critical rate by 30% as well so it will help you get more critical rate when you're casting different skills so that will help you get more damage so let's get into the preview skills and we will see how good she is, what is the skill rotation that you should follow but before going into the skill rotation the details page right. 
so she is having 8000 of physical attack she's a physical attack character like most speed characters then she is having maxed out attack speed yeah 0.10 percent exceeded maxed out skill cooldown 3 percent exceeded critical rate by 32 and this is on her leadership so the actual critical rate is less than 32 then we have critical damage 193 percent ignore defense 41 percent and ignore dodge 45 percent because she is on her own leadership for all the gears all the gears are at 20 and she's ready to get to the tier 2 which we will do in this video the last slot is roll for ignore defense and right now there is no good uru on her it's just the random shit uru the energy defense physical defense and i think blue one is recovery rate i guess yeah it's recovery rate which we will change once we get her at tier 2 then for all the skills all the skills are at level 6 one thing to note on her she is not having any immunity skill so the only way to survive with this girl is using iframes and the good thing is she is having either full or partial iframe in all her skills and the area of damage is insane as well she is not having any SSL right now and for the custom gear she is having a critical oh, cdp of destruction with 23 percent of critical damage card break immunity and a 200 percent damage power she is not having any uniform so now let's move on to the skill preview and the one thing which i don't like about her is you cannot cancel different skill and cast different skill to get the combination effect like you do with most abx character for example take anti-man or cable with cable you you just swiftly cancel different skills and then you proc on the fifth skill so that you can get the effect of various skills with the fifth skill and the proc on him so that's one thing which makes cable a good tune for abx but you cannot do that with her because her skills need to be casted for the entire duration you will not get anything if you don't let the skill animate so we'll start with skill number one as you can see skill number one is a good skill because it's an iframe in the beginning and i love iframes in the beginning because it will help you evade from the enemy's attack if the iframe is in the end you might take hit while casting the skill in the beginning so i love it when the iframe is in the beginning and as you can see it is having a good amount of hits 36 hit is really good Skill number 2 is my favorite because it is an iframe, sorry it's not an iframe but yes it is having stun. So you can use skill number 2 in Shadowlands or any other game mode where stun will apply to another enemy character. But you cannot use this skill effectively in world bosses because world bosses won't get stun. Then skill number 3 is the skill, it is not an iframe but it will increase the cooldown effect on the enemy character by 15% per 10 seconds. And I think this is the skill number one value. If you rank that skill, you will get more. We'll check that in the video only. And as you can see, you can cancel that skill, but there is nothing you're getting. There is not a bunch of damage on it. You're just getting the increased cooldown on the enemy character and you are getting the reflect effect on Domino. So you will reflect 25% of the damage received, 40% of the max attack for 10 seconds, I guess. Yes, for 10 seconds. And then comes the fourth and the fifth skill. Both these skills you can proc on. I mean, they are really good. Both the skills are having insane amount of damage, great number of hits and an insane amount of area of damage. Skill number four is my personal favorite for proccing. I mean, look at her. She just goes all the way around and fucks the enemy from all directions. And at the end, you're getting the burn effect along with a blast, a great blast. I mean, this is really a good skill. And skill number five again she takes the guns i mean she just take those guns and fuck the enemy so that's really cool and i like the animation as well and this skill is also having multiple blasts so you can either proc on skill number five or skill number four or what you can do is let skill number five animate for the entire duration and when you see that you're getting those the blast effect then you can cast skill number four and proc on skill number four so that you can get that chain damage effect or you can just have skill number five active while you're procing on skill number four but that won't make a significant difference that might get you a tinge of different not a lot so the skill rotation that i follow is i start with skill number one or still skill number two whichever i think is required in the game mode then i go with either skill number five or skill number four or you can have a combination of five and four in which you proc on four or you can do is you can simply 
proc on skill number five it's up to you you can customize it as your requirement because she's not having that chain effect so you can use it your way then i don't cast skill number three a lot of time because in abx the the reflect that you're getting with this skill is not that good but for game modes like shadowland this will help you because the enemy is attacking you and if the enemy is not in an iframe the enemy will take some portion of his damage that he wants to give you so you are just reflecting the damage of the enemy to the enemy so that's a good thing so the skill rotation you can go with either skill number one or skill number two then cast skill number five and when you see the bombing effect go to skill number four and proc on it if you want you can introduce skill number three so that you can have time between different procs or you can just go with one two and five four again it's up to you and her tier two passive is really good because you're getting increased guaranteed critical rate by 30 percent and increased guaranteed dodge rate by 25 percent and along with that you're getting um critical damage increase by 40 percent so this is really good this will help you get the extra damage and yeah she is a bay so now you'll be watching the video in which i did the tier one test and after that i'll tier to her in the video only and you will see what is the damage output in abx after the tier two i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do don't forget to like it subscribe to our channel and do let me know in the comment section below what do you think of domino and are you going to invest on her so have a nice day guys you wrote to me you wrote to me this is suddenly Younger than the other Feeling like a prisoner There in the light She stood She knew they couldn't miss her And then they took a rest Or walked out from life Like You wrote to me You wrote to me This is
finally we are going to tier 2 domino and right now the rank is 584 and we will use a tier 2 ticket here should I use the mega tier 2 ticket? obviously not she is she's ready for tier 2 why should I waste one on her? so here we go our domino is a tier 2 now and as you can see the stat changes now she is having maxed out critical damage 32 critical rate critical rate is not affected because she is not getting critical rate from her tier 2 passive she is getting guaranteed critical rate so that won't be displayed here and again she is not having any ISO 8 set so now we will have an ABX run again at tier 2 and we will see what is the damage output at tier 2 with the same team setup and the setup was this girl along with her yeah so basically I'm using all the girls so that you can have an idea how much she would score on the day in which the requirement is speed hero and female character but that depends upon the situation whether the frost beast is using the same evade effect or not because we haven't played that played that day yet so we need to encounter that day first to decide what leadership we should use or if more ignore dodge is required then you can have a ctp of energy on her but we will see whether the beast is using evade or not so again i'll start with one or two as said i'll proc on skill number o the beast was not here so my proc is missed then i went with skill number one okay i missed the proc again so this is a bad run a really bad run I hope I get the proc on 5 so we got the proc on 5 and hopefully we'll maintain the proc on skill number 5 combination 4 and okay we got the proc on 4 so okay we missed the proc here but the damage output I must say is better than her tier 1 because of the tier 2 effect and I'm missing all the procs so the tier 1 score was almost 140k and we will see how much can we get with her tier 2 passive active and with her tier 2 obviously the team is same I thought that Wolverine's daughter might help her but she's not a good striker of her I should have checked that before using her I'll see whether there are any strikers available for her which will help her on ABX but for now this is the team setup I used for both my runs so okay okay this was a, this was a right proc I got the effect of the fifth then I procced on skill number four so that was nice okay I missed the proc I shouldn't have cancelled five here and her four star passive gives her the dodge bump so that might help in AC because more the dodge more she will dodge the enemy's attack so we need to test that before stating anything so this is a complete shit run because I missed all the procs again yeah I got a good proc here and yeah while playing with her keep in mind that you need to dodge the meteorites because you are getting a good score bump from there as she is not having any buff nor you are having a lot of chance chance to cancel different skills and get the bump from there and cast different skill to have more bump so you need to evade the meteorites as good as possible so as to get a good score so i okay her tier 2 passive is really helping her get that extra tinge of damage and yes I will have a better score now even by missing a lot of procs. So we will see at her respective day how good that she performs. So with the Bucky on this account I am able to get a score of 1 million which is really good in my opinion because 1 million for a speed day with Bucky is a decent score. And playing with Bucky is a bit easy as well because new Bucky is insanely powerful, great iframes, insane damage and everything else you need on a character. So even after missing a hell lot of procs I am able to get a score of 157,000. So if the procs were on time the score would have been definitely better but yeah you can see with a tier 2 the score has improved and if I get a chance to run again. Definitely I can score more than 200,000.